Hey, this is Jason from ExpressionsVinyl.com doing our tutorial today, School for Scal 102 Basic Shapes. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how simple it is to find a basic shape on the internet and trace it using Shortcuts A Lot 2 for cutting out on your Cricut. To start off, we're just going to go to Google. We're going to search for a car shape. We're just going to type car shape up here to images. We're going to search Google Images. Now, when you're looking for a shape, you want to look for something very basic. This, for example, looks kind of basic, but it's got the blue, it's got different colors, it's got the steering wheel. It may or may not trace into shortcuts sure a lot very well. Um, this one's got that key ring that's going to be a little complex. Uh, this one may or may not work. Some of the more complex objects are quite simple to edit using another program. I like to use Inkscape. We'll go through that in a future tutorial. But for now, we're just going to look for a simple one. I like this one right here. I'm going to click on that. See the full size. Looks good to me, so I'm going to right click, save picture as. I'm just going to call it car, save it in my pictures. Go into shortcuts a lot. And when I get into shortcuts a lot, I like to zoom out so that I can see the full width of the mat. And what we're going to use is this function trace image. You can also find it right here trace image. Go ahead and select that. When you get in here to this box, you're just going to browse. Now you may have to navigate to the location you saved yours. But I've got mine right there. Just double click the car. Preview it if you'd like. Looks good to me. I'm just going to select OK. Now once you've got your object, there's a few basic functions. This one right here will let you move it. This allows you to move it just up and down. This just side to side. This will let you stretch it didn't want to do that, so I'm going to undo it. This will let you stretch it down. This and this lets you rotate it. I'm going to just go ahead and hit escape so it doesn't stay there. And this right here lets you stretch it both up and down. Now if you see, it's not staying the same shape, and I want it to. So I'm going to hit escape come over here and hit keep proportions. What that's going to do is allow me to change its shape without changing its proportions. You can also change the shape by selecting how wide or how tall you want it. This right here is just going to work for me right now. Now if you notice, it's got two separate lines. That's going to make some complications when it cuts those lines really close together. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to delete one of those lines. Now when I hit delete, it just deletes the whole image. So we've got to come up here to undo. And in order to delete just one of those lines, we're going to go up to object and break apart. What that does is it makes this line and this inner line separate, as well as the outer and inner line of that window. So I'm just going to come up here, and I'm going to select that inner line and hit delete. And that's gone. I'm going to take this outer line of the window. Well, didn't get it. I'm going to undo. I'm just going to come back here. There we go. Now, if I try to move this, it's just going to move that there. So I hit escape. I want to come down here. I want to select it all. And go back up to object and we're going to group it together. And that makes it so that when we move it, it all moves together. Now if you're ready to cut that out, all you've got to do is grab the scissors, click, select which Cricut you have, make sure that you've got the updated firmware. If you don't happen to have the updated firmware, you can get that at Provocraft or Cricut.com. They have a 
free trial design studio that will help you to update your firmware. I'm not actually going to cut it out, so that's about all. That's how you create a basic shape in sure cuts a lot too. Remember for all your vinyl needs, expressionsvinyl.com.